All right, what is going on, guys? Today is Tuesday, and we aren't having a shorts day. Um, as you can tell by the title, I am doing something a little bit different. We're, um, we're taking a look at what happened to a specific YouTuber. This YouTuber, um, in, uh, in particular, I actually have... Um, it, this is more of a personal video for me, you know. Um, I've watched this YouTuber for a really long time um around the start of their you know channel more around the start of their success though and uh yeah you know they've been going through not the best time recently but um i thought it would be interesting to talk about the channel and talk about what kind of happened to it and the direction that they're going now and you know just give a little bit of my opinions give you some facts uh, maybe suggest this channel to you, I don't know, but, uh, yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into the video, um, and yeah, this should be a pretty good one, so stick around. So, for a little bit of background, YBR, um, in either form, you know, with the three words YBR, or other times just, you know, a Y, B, and an R, uh, YouTube channel, obviously, created November 24th of 2010 and has gained around 520 million views uh, across the entire channel. So, I mean, we're not talking about a small channel here. I mean, he has 908,000 subscribers. Um, and yeah, so it started back in 2010, obviously, with him gaining just a, a large amount of you know, traction. He kind of blew up um, in uh, late 2014 throughout, you know, 2015. And that stayed, you know, pretty okay for a while. That This is around when I started watching him. And uh, I, I just really liked the videos. Um, but he, he does say that he started his channel for um, the reason of he wanted to play kind of like obscure littler games that not very many people knew about but he thought was fun to play he kind of wanted to put them in a little bit of a spotlight on his channel and um he did that with with beam and g drive which is um what really blew him up i would say and um yeah that that blew him up and it, it just, it never ended. And um, that did kind of uh, hinder him from making videos on other games because all people wanted was Beam and G Drive. And I can't say that I'm uh, outside of this. I mean, me too. I was definitely younger then. I wouldn't have understood a reason like this. And I like the Beam and G Drive videos. It's a game I bought because of him, to be fair. And uh, I do like the game. I do play it often. I think it's been at the starting of one of my videos. But, um, yeah, it's just... He's, he's a, he was a channel that was set out to do a mission, made one video, blew up off of that video... Um, about one subject and he kind of got stuck in it which isn't great but it's not bad so yeah right right here about in the timeline we're at the point where he's uh he's sailing pretty good maybe not exactly happy in the content he's making because it's strictly beam and g drive for the most part there was some infra and some other little smaller games like firewatch i think he did stuff like that that was thrown in um and those those were really good i actually really liked those videos too um so yeah but he, he was doing good at this point you know 2014 to uh, probably anywhere like 2018 he was doing okay but uh yeah we're uh we're about to get into a little bit more of the uh the downfall so after being this close to a million subs this close to all this stuff um, around 2019, 20, and this year, it's, ah, it's, it's been rough for him. It really has, and, um, it, it sucks as somebody who likes the channel and has watched the channel for so long. Um, it really does suck to see it just kind of fall apart, but crazy stuff started happening. I mean, 
He hasn't ever shown his face, which is okay. That's his choice to make. Um, and I, I agree with that. I mean, I don't really plan on showing my face anytime soon, but he did say that he would, um, show his face for 1 million subscribers, but that was kind of called off later when a fan came to his house, uh, his, literally his personal residence where, um, he has other family that lives there with them and just total invasion of uh privacy or anything like that so um that happened a couple other things happened and the the videos just i think a lot of people like me just kind of further grew out of them i mean i definitely wasn't watching them as much as i used to at this point after i owned the game a lot of the mods i would just get right when they came out so i was playing with them and there was no big reason to like watch a video on them or stuff like that but um we're gonna but I, I would still watch um stuff like his uh his update videos whenever he did ones like those because those were uh pretty useful they did you know definitely teach me something or whenever he would play a a weird game i mean i love that Back when he was still popular, when I was first watching him, when he was, you know, in his prime, I would say. Um, yeah, he, he played a game called Maze. Uh, Maze, I, I don't really know how to say it. It's, you know, it's that other word for corn. But uh, yeah, that was a really cool game. And, uh, you know, he had to stop playing it because just nobody nobody was watching that. And I, I, I know that feeling, you know, personally, sometimes you make a video that you're really happy about. You're like, this is an awesome video and nobody likes it. So <laughs> you just kind of you just kind of move on and forget about it. But yeah. So anyway, we're going to start. Um, we're going to take a look at the recent issues that have made me reinvest a lot of time into him and his channel and um yeah we're gonna be taking a look at that so let's let's go ahead and look at that so on april 21st of this year um ybr has sat down and made a two minute long video uh discussing that he might be quitting youtube um in this video he highlights that he at the time doesn't have a job he has been using YouTube as his only real revenue stream for uh, an amount of time. I don't really remember exactly what amount of time, but an amount of time. I don't even really know if he says it, but and uh, he he supports his parents with that money. He, you know, supports himself. He does a lot of stuff uh, like that with the money. It, it's very crucial to him. And uh, not something that can just be, you know, taken away and yeah, everything be okay. So, um, yeah, this was a, a huge hit. But YouTube totally demonetized his entire channel. Which we would later learn this is because of really old videos from way before I was even watching that uh, I guess expressed terroristic values because they were games that I guess expressed those values even though he was reviewing them and um, did directly say these are bad games, I don't support anything in them. Kind of ridiculous from YouTube, but uh, also not surprised. I mean, YouTube just does stuff like this all the time. Um, it just anything it's the youtube the way youtube works nowadays is far too complex for anybody to understand i mean rules are not transparent but yeah after that little youtube rant um he did he went and started streaming on twitch and um the twitch streams were actually really nice i actually quite enjoyed the twitch streams there were never too many people there um, so, you know, I was in the, I was always there in the chat asking questions. He would answer them. Uh, you know, obviously the younger part inside of me really enjoyed that. Um, this being one of my favorite YouTubers from when I was younger, uh, I really enjoyed, you know, basically having like little conversations with him on the side in the chat. That was really cool. 
But um, yeah, that that really wraps up the downfall. It's just it's not been great since then. He's made a couple more videos. He's talked about suing YouTube. He's talked about making new channels. He's talked about all this stuff. Um, but it probably won't follow through on those because even in his words, he thinks that they just aren't really ideas that can actually happen. But I do have a nice little update for the end of this video. And uh, yeah, after that, we'll end off the video. So let's let's go ahead and talk about the recent sort of not exactly resurgence, but the recent direction he's taken. So recently he's made a, another video where it's just kind of sit down. Um, it's called YBR is back, sort of. And so that, that was a cool video to see because he hadn't been streaming in a little bit. Um, he kind of, he did that. Then he focused on finding a different job. And, you know, that was okay. I mean, I, I supported him in that. I hope most of his community did. And, uh, yeah, so he made a YBR is back, sort of. And he's made three new videos that kind of are in the format of his old, um, uh, of what he was making before this whole, you know, big, huge issue happened. So um, he basically talked about he found a job, so he is making money, which is good to hear. He um, and he's looking to go back to school and become a programmer, which is awesome. Um, I, you know, I fully support him in that. He said he doesn't really know how much longer he's going to be making videos, but he is just going to be trying to put out videos whenever he can get a sponsor and stuff like that for a little extra income. And that's that's OK. I mean, we've kind of gone through a, a big roller coaster on this channel. Um and that it's it's been it's been a ride for sure uh you know from him blowing up playing beam and g drive to you know falling into this well you know i don't really like making beam and g drive content to uh youtube totally just you know totally just kicking him in the teeth you know um and yeah now it now it looks like he's back he's gonna make videos however often he can uh you know no pressure on him to make videos more often less often whatever uh he can just do that at his own pace that's cool because it sounds like he's really looking to get stuff back on track he's really he's got a mission and uh you know i wish him the best in following through on that so uh yeah this is this is just about wrapped up um what happened to ybr I uh, I don't really know how to make these videos. I've seen a couple, and I know that they're probably better than mine. But uh, I thought that this was interesting. I haven't really seen many videos doing this sort of thing with his channel. So, uh, you know, I, I was happy to go ahead and highlight his channel. Um, so everything will be in the description if you want to check out his YouTube channel, his Twitter uh maybe i'll leave a link to his subreddit and his twitch uh they'll they'll all be down in the description if this is somebody that you want to check out yourself uh and just just give him support don't you know there's no reason to give him any more uh trouble than he's already been through there's been a lot of a lot of issues that have come up for him and yeah let's just let's just be supportive of him let's you know try and um Try and rise him up rather than bring him down. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, it means a lot to me. If you like this video, make sure you leave a like. Uh, that would be awesome. If you... Uh, oh, man. I'm, I'm forgetting my whole outro. If you really liked this, go ahead and subscribe. Because I'm looking for 100 by the end of the year. And I'm right in like mid-60s coming up. Mid-60s around there. So, you know, we could definitely do it. So let's let's keep that push forward. Um, and yeah, have a, have a great day. Uh, and I hope you liked the video. Uh, if you did, talk about it in the comments and stuff. Maybe I'll make another one on some other YouTubers I used to watch as a little kid that maybe aren't as well known as they should be. And uh, yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. It means a lot to me. 
And I will see all you guys in the next Reddit review Thursday. So goodbye.